All right, good morning. Nice little morning walk with Broly. He is pulling me along. I keep seeing squirrels and stuff he wants to attack. Go, buddy. Anyways, nice little morning walk before I start my high carb day at four days out, which is crazy because Toronto, we did a high carb day, I don't know, maybe 10 days out, and then we did a death day four days out. So I'm excited. I'm best shape I've ever been in. He's so skittish. He, his leg touched a branch. All right, I'm gonna finish this walk with him and he's pooping. Good place to stop. Good morning, what's going on everybody? We are four days out from Orlando Pro and we are on a whole different playing field, a whole different ball game than uh, the Toronto Pro. Things are going insane, my metabolism, as I've mentioned in previous videos, can't slow it down. We've been on a steady base diet of around 300 grams of carbs a day and I've been steadily losing weight, getting tighter, harder, drier, but it's to a point where I'm almost going too far. So four days out, we're getting a high carb day. Toronto Pro, four days out, we were doing death days, sucking it down still. So like I said, whole different playing field, whole different ball game, body's going crazy, responding. So with this high carb day, something a little new, I haven't done this in a couple years. I used to do this, but I haven't done this in a couple years. I'm gonna train twice today. So today's arms and shoulders. I'm gonna get probably two meals in, go train one or the other, arms or shoulders, and then get uh, two more meals in, go back to the gym and train the other one. So we're gonna put these carbs to use. We're gonna shuttle them into the muscles where they wanna be, fill back out and everything's gonna be exploding. But I did take a video, uh, I'll put it up after this clip of me taking my check-ins and I've never looked like this guys. I'm excited, like I'm a little lighter than I wanted to be, uh, but the look is there. And sometimes you gotta forget about the weight, even if it messes with your head. The look, I've never looked like this before in my life and I'm excited. So I'm excited to bring my best ever to the stage. Anyways. Meal one, high carb day. We've got four slices of anabolic French toast, which is made from four slices of this bread, Pepperidge Farm, um, and 400 grams of egg whites. Just mix in some cinnamon and some salt, soak the bread in there, fry it up in the pan. Then we got one cup of cereal. I always try and find like a zero fat cereal. So this or like Rice Krispies or something like that. This is freaking so good though, I'm almost out. 
and then we got 100 grams dry weight of cream of rice, added some cinnamon and salt in there as well, and also 100 grams of strawberries, frozen strawberries. So this is gonna be a delicious, filling, amazing meal. Took Broly for a walk already, because that's the only cardio coach wants me to do it as well, it's just light walks, dog walks, walk the bridge, whatever. So I'm gonna get this first meal in, just pound it like a savage, as I do, and uh, then I got a little bit of work to do, clients checking in, videos to edit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get this down. I'll show y'all meal two. I'm going to go get it. All right. Time for meal two, which will be my first pre-workout meal of the day. And then we'll have two more meals and go back to the gym. So I got two pre-workout meals today. So things are getting crazy. All right. Things are getting really crazy. This time, uh, for the last show, I was eating death day menu, starving, depleting more, and now we can't slow my metabolism down. I'm burning through everything, and we have to just keep shuttling in more and more food. So, meal two, we got five ounces of shrimp. We've got 350 grams of rice. We get a cup of cereal. And since we're working out twice today, we're gonna split the muffins. Typically I have three muffins uh, pre-workout later in the day. I'm gonna have one of them now and then have the other two pre-workout later. But since I did that, instead of getting all muffins, I got two muffins and two of these apple fritters because the apple fritters are actually about half the calories of like this coffee cake muffin. So yeah, I can split them up a little bit more evenly that way. I'll probably have one of the muffins and save the two apple fritters and the heavier muffin for later. So we'll go with the chocolate chip muffin on this meal. I'm gonna shut up and eat because I also did something. I'm just gonna be 100% open with you guys. I don't try to hide anything. I don't talk about the PED side of things very often. Uh, it's just not something I like to talk about because I don't want people doing things that I do uh, just because I do it. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to do it anyways. So if you message me for coaching or advice, I'm happy to give advice. But it's not something I'm just like throwing out there to everybody. Um, but to be completely transparent with you, my body's been acting so weird with these high carb days. I've gone hypo a couple times because I'm burning through everything. So we're just trying something new, trying something different. And for the first time in my life, I just took a little bit of insulin before this meal. So I'm gonna shut up and eat because I've never touched this stuff before. I don't know how my body's gonna respond. So I wanna make sure I get these carbs in me. And then Coach wants post-workout pumped picks, which with all these carbs and the insulin, should be pretty freaking insane. So we're gonna go smash arms, then we'll come back, have a couple more meals, and then go back and smash shoulders. So shrimp and rice, cereal, muffin. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And that shrimp and rice, a little bit of that sweet chili. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So, all right, time to shut up and eat, and then shut up and lift.
out if you ain't got enemies I wrote a head of full prophecy To be the greatest beast the world has ever seen I feed him every day like the bones clean I feed him all the hate and he grows me And he gets caused real big pissed off quick And if you cross him you might drop dead Metaphorically of course said to live this war Never getting bored Alright, back from the gym from round one Arms And I'm not gonna lie, that was a stupid juicy pump I want to start this off by saying I didn't touch any kind of uh, testosterone or uh, any kind of PED or whatever, super supplements, um, until after I was over 30 years old, almost 31. So I don't recommend anyone young to mess with any of that. And anybody that's going to do it, I do recommend you reach out to someone that's experienced, knowledgeable, a coach. You know, I, me, uh, my coach, AJ Sims, you know, there's a ton of them. My, my training partner, Jordan Wise, like, there's a lot of people that are very knowledgeable that can help you do it at least the safest way possible. Um, but I will, I will say this, I understand why people take that crap now with a punch of carbs because the pumps were just freaking stupid. Um, but it does drop those blood sugars quick, so I need to eat, all right? So I'm not gonna waste much time talking. I'm just gonna show you what I got and then get it down. So we got a cup of cereal. These are actually mixed because I ran out of this. There's a tiny bit at the bottom, but I finished it off with the Frosted Krispies. Then we got five ounces of 99% lean ground turkey and 350 grams of rice. So that's meal three, post-workout from round one. We're gonna have one more meal after this, go back to the gym for round two and his shoulders. So. I'm going to get this meal down, see you for my pre-workout meal for round two, and then, uh, yeah, shoulders. All right, pre-workout meal, round two. So we got two scoops of Pro Whey from Performax. I went with chocolate today because I love chocolate, and we don't have any like chocolate chip uh, muffins or anything like that, So or cookies. So. You know, normally if I have that, I'll go with the vanilla, just because it's like drinking milk and cookies or milk and chocolate chips. But we got the chocolate today, and I love the chocolate. It's probably my favorite one. And like I mentioned earlier, we have one muffin left and two apple fritters because they're actually like half the calories. So I split up, had a muffin earlier, and that will do two apple fritters. Anyways, and also Wawa only had one coffee cake and one chocolate chip muffin and they think they had a banana nut but it's just i'm not a fan really so anyways we got the coffee cake muffin we got the two apple fritters which is crazy that they're uh they're almost the same carbs but they're way less calories way less fat so but they look massive i don't know i'm gonna enjoy them either way that's for sure so i'm excited if you had to ask me what probably my favorite donut or what something was, it'd probably be some type of fritter. I went to this place one time and I was doing the Indie Pro and there was a place right across from the venue. It was a donut shop and they literally had every kind of fritter you could imagine. Blueberry fritters, strawberry fritters, apple fritters, uh, just, I, I don't know, you name it. It was, I got like one of everything. It was so bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think you would waste. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a nasty shoulder bump. My shoulders get pumped super easy, even on low carbs. I just, that's always been a spot that's had good mind muscle connection and just gets activated very easily. So this is gonna be stupid, stupid juicy pump. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I'm going to taste test the apple fritter. But then I'm going to actually sit down and enjoy these because I really want to enjoy these. Oh, goodness. Mmm. 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 Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's even more ridiculous that I'm eating this at four days out from a show. Mm. Talk about a hard diet. That's my happy dance. My little food happy dance. All right, like I said, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this last one because I just really wanna enjoy this apple fritter. I need my chocolate protein. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna get this down and then it's time to go get some crazy pumps. Fritter pumps, muffin pumps, all the pumps, so. See you guys in the gym.
work out for the second time today. And post-workout meal this time, we've got 400 grams of egg whites, three Thomas bagels. I went with uh, cinnamon raisin. And I get 20 grams of honey on those bagels or on the egg whites if I wanted to, I guess, but that'd be weird. So we go with the honey on the bagel and uh, measure this out, try and disperse it somewhat evenly. Those bottom ones aren't going to get anything. It is what it is. Maybe I'll put some egg whites in between them and make a sandwich. All right, so that's a post-workout meal for round two. 400 grams egg whites, three bagels, 20 grams honey. I'm gonna get this down and then uh, our new couch is about to be delivered. And then we're gonna take Broly for a walk and then I have one more meal. So that's the plan. Coach wants weight before my last meal, so We'll do that. It's just to see how much my weight's going up with all these, all this food and shuttling all the carbs and nutrients into my muscles with the double workouts. I did weight before uh, my pre-workout meal and he was happy with that. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up and eat. I'll see you guys at my final meal. All right guys, final meal of the night. I am exhausted, I'm tired, I'm hungry as can be. This isn't even gonna put a dent. For some reason, my, I'm still, I'm just starving. My appetite's through the roof. My body's burning through everything. But I'm gonna get this last meal down and get to bed. I've got to train one client in the morning and then I've got a chiropractor appointment where I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, just light uh, muscle work done, you know, Typically, I get a lot of deep grasping and cupping and stuff, but you don't want to leave any bruising or inflammation or marks this close to the show. So it'll really just be a light touch up and maybe some cryotherapy. But anyways, final meal of the night, 350 grams of rice, five ounces of shrimp, and a cup of cereal, Frosted Krispies. And that's it. Simple. Keeping it clean, wish we were eating a burger, but we're keeping it clean and uh, I can't complain because like I said in previously, four days out from Toronto, we were starving, depleting, death days, four days out now and we got a high carb day and I've eaten a lot of food. Even though my body's burning through it, I can't complain about it. So I'm excited for the next few days to see how the body changes, bring my best package ever. I really gotta pound the posing, get my body as comfortable with holding the poses as possible, uh, as long as possible. I can't even speak. I'm gonna eat, shut up and eat, get this food down, and then shower and pass out. See you guys on the next one, and uh, thanks for watching. Follow along. I am excited for the Orlando Pro.